So Ed, this is great news for UW, but what message do you think MIT, Carnegie Mellon, all the other people who say they're the best in computer science and engineering should be taking from this? Should well, they be quaking in their boots? Not at all. First of all, they are the best, and we want to be the best too. So, uh, you know, the goal here is instead of there being a top four program, to be a top five program, and for us to be the fifth, and we're very close to that. You know, when I think over time, back when I was department chair, we used to compete annually for faculty and students with Princeton and Cornell, and those are great programs. You know, there are 200 graduate programs in computer science, and they're among the top 10. These days, we only compete with MIT and Stanford and CMU and Berkeley, and uh, you know, it's been going pretty well. I, Often note to my friends at Carnegie Mellon that we've hired the last three holders of the Finn Mechanica Endowed Professorship in Computer Science and we're dying to see who they're going to appoint next because we're going to hire him or her too. <laughs> Do so you think there's going to be a division of labor? Uh, are there things that UW is going to be especially good at as there are things, for example, robotics that Carnegie Mellon is especially good well, at? I, I'm sure that's right. You know, we have a real leg up in machine learning. We've always been strong in computer systems. We have a phenomenal computer vision program here. There are lots of areas, and I think part of our distinction is we were the first more than a half dozen years ago to start talking about computer science impacting societal challenges. You know, and I think of the stuff that I did, hardcore systems, that's been 50 years of making things smaller and faster and less expensive, and we've had a great run. And now the question is, how do we change people's lives and how do we tackle societal challenges, energy efficiency, health care? education, transportation, and computer science is central to all of those things. And I think we really have a first mover advantage in taking that broader view of uh, where the field is headed, and that's part of uh, the inspiration we take from Paul Allen, actually, and we share with him, which is how do you make the world a better place using the technology that we all invent? Well, hooray for the top five, I say. Thanks so much, Ed. Thanks, Allen. You bet.